Hey guys, Miss Sewing here with a review of the September 11th terrorist attack and the war on terror that followed. On September 11th, a terrorist group called Al Qaeda hijacked or stole a couple of planes and then proceeded to fly those planes into buildings like the World Trade Center, also known as the Twin Towers in New York City, as well as the Pentagon, which is where our Defense Department's headquarters is in Washington, D.C. They flew those planes into the building, of course, to try to kill as many Americans as possible. Now, the group that took credit for this attack is named Al-Qaeda. They are a Middle Eastern terrorist network. They are led by a man named Osama bin Laden, um, whose name I'm sure you're familiar with. Um, He was assassinated by the U.S. government back when Obama was president. So the effect of 9-11 was pretty big. What happened here in the United States after 9-11 include a lot of meaningful things. For example, the war on terror was launched against countries like Iraq and Afghanistan. These uh, wars that we started because those are countries that have a large um, terrorist network. Uh, Groups like Al-Qaeda are working out of those countries. And as we saw with 9-11, it's starting to impact us, starting to hurt uh, Americans. We also made a lot of changes to our airport security after experiencing the hijacking and seeing the holes in our security system. um, We created what's called the TSA. If you've ever been on an airplane, you've seen these guys. They're the ones scanning your bags, checking your shoes, patting you down, you know, making sure that nothing um, unsafe gets onto an airplane. And finally, the big controversial effect of 9-11 you can kind of read in my handwriting there, uh, is called the Patriot Act or the USA Patriot Act. Now, this was a law that was passed by the U.S. Congress to try to prevent or stop terrorism from happening again. And the way they did that, again, was pretty controversial. They, they being the government, were able to watch you quite a bit to check out the type of communications you were sending through email, through phones, and really just take a big look at what people were up to on the internet. And um, this is no longer a law. This was, um, this was removed not too long ago from U.S. law, but for a while after 9-11, we were really worried about more terrorist groups communicating and planning these types of attacks on U.S. citizens. And so we were monitoring uh, people's communications really closely. Let's wrap up the video by reviewing some of the key points. You know, 9-11 was a large event in U.S. history. It's one that sticks out as um, you know, still on people's minds because it was not that long ago. Um, 9-11 is, of course, that terrorist attack against us by that group, Al-Qaeda, Middle East terrorist network. And there were a lot of effects or uh, results of 9-11 that we feel and still feel here at home. The war on terror continues. Uh, We went to war with Iraq and Afghanistan. In fact, we are still at war with Afghanistan, and it's the longest war in U.S. history. It's been 19 years since that war began. We also made changes to our security, especially at airports, And we passed a law that was quite controversial at the time, the USA Patriot Act, um, where the goal was to prevent or to stop future terrorist attacks from happening by monitoring or surveilling American citizens. What are are people saying in their emails, text messages, phone calls, that sort of thing. Um, So that's my review of 9-11 and the war on terror. Hopefully that helps you study for STAR. I think it will. Uh, Thanks for listening.